Hello guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you are coming across the channel for the very first time, you are highly welcome to my channel. Anyway guys, in today's video, I will just be sharing with you guys my family reaction when I told them that I will be going outside the country to stay with my husband. See, <laughs> not only my family, okay, but my family and friends, okay. I know in Nigeria, I don't know if it's only Nigeria or Africa as a whole, um, you know, we tend to like keep secrets. Like anytime somebody wants to travel out of the country, you keep secrets. <laughs> you keep it as a secret till maybe a um, few days before leaving, few days before leaving or a few days before, you know, um going to catch your flight i think that's when you now break the news to everybody that oh you're actually leaving the country and it's in so 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 time or some people will even you know there will people prefer to like go to the country like travel out of the country and then start telling people that okay oh, i've traveled out like <laughs> i'm no longer in nigeria again see um i have a lot like in fact i even filmed um you know some reactions okay like my mom's reaction you know my siblings reaction my dad and um, you know few people that i actually told like it was just like a shock you guys are going to see it first of all i'm going to start with the most dramatic reaction which is my mom see i really do not want to you know tell her because my mom is very dramatic very very dramatic and as the first child of the family like the first daughter of the family or the, even the first child of the family you know my mom really really like me and my mom we are really close okay we are close like to an extent because me as a person i'm not the kind of person that you know is always outdoors i'm i'm an indoor person so my mom and i are very very you know close like we talk with g's and a lot of things like she's used to me okay that's how i'm going to put it she's used to me so her reaction was not even good at all <laughs> you guys are going to see the clip but um i can actually remember when i was you know she was the first person i actually broke the news to that was um while i and hobby you know um made the plan like we made the decision um you know for me to actually leave the country um it was actually with my kids as of then that was what i told her but along the line something actually happened which i have actually told you guys so um what i actually did was when i was looking for my work my work results the original copy of it and some document that i will use for you know um my travel my traveling stuff so I was asking her because she was the one that actually helped me to keep all those documents. My mom is a very, very careful keep. Like if she keeps something for you, <laughs> you are still going to you, you are still going to meet it in that same place where she keeps it, where she kept it. So I asked her, and she was like, "What are you using it to do?" You know, stuff like that. Then I thought I'm just I will just I'm just you know looking for it so that in case of you know I want to you know go to school and all that I wanted to tell her the real reason but you know I was just looking at her face and I felt like oh she this woman is going to she's going to act drama here and I'm not ready for this thing now so before you know it um later on when I finished with the you know with the passport stuff and all that I later told her that you know, we are actually traveling outside the country oh this woman boss cry like the way she was crying eh <laughs> the way she was crying i i believe you guys to see this like it, and i'm just asking myself like why will i even tell her but then i still feel like okay well, later or you know so now i'm still going to tell her like we are still going to tell her so she kept on crying that day she was not even herself you know i was expecting her to be dramatic but not to the extent of crying <laughs> she was crying she even called my dad and was doing and i said hey jesus christ <laughs> hey she called my husband i was like so the only daughter that she was she she she's close to that i want to you know if she, my husband wants to take me away from her and my husband was like i don't understand is it not my wife <laughs> 
<laughs> ah gosh you guys need to see the way this woman was crying so she was crying i was saying that she so i've not even left the country i don't even know if they are going to give me papers that I, and she's crying like this i just told her you know she kept on crying till i i left that place like i was not even comfortable again i i was trying to cheer her up you know even telling her that i would give her some things you know stuff like that but she wasn't even you know like she was not in that mood at all she wasn't in that mood at all so she kept on crying and um you know throughout that day she wasn't even herself okay she wasn't even herself then to my dad when my mom told my dad my dad was was laughing in the phone he was saying that my mom that is not true that i'm just pulling <laughs> i'm just pulling his legs i'm pulling her legs as well and i'm like which one is pulling legs i don't understand like is it that i'm not going to travel out if i want to travel out or what i don't understand my dad was just laughing i was i, I could hear when he was laughing through my mom's phone he was just laughing saying that i'm just pulling his legs you know uh, blah 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 and i'm like hey this man think i'm joking you know? <laughs> anyway guys fast forward to the main the main um you know level when i've you know when they have given me the paper they have you know um um giving me the visa i that was when my mom then called my dad again and told him hell oh, this man actually left his workplace and came back home to my house he slept in our in my house that day you know in nigeria he slept there he slept over and then he sat down inside my room and was like he tried to convince me not to go hey <laughs> you guys think is is a uh, uh, what is it called like when anybody wants to travel out everybody will not be happy let me tell you my whole family is not like that at all my dad legit sat down he sat me down and he was i was lying down on top of the bed and then he came inside my room he knocked and came inside my room and then i sat down he sat down on my chair there's one purple chair i had there and he was trying to convince me not to even go and i'm like what like <laughs> everybody should be happy that their children wants to go out of the country why my parents what is going on so that was when he was trying to convince me not to go that i can school here in nigeria if i want to that my husband can you know afford it and all that and i'm telling him that i don't i cannot do distance relationship again anything distance marriage i cannot do it is either i go and meet my husband or i leave the marriage that was what i told him and he was like eh I can stay in Nigeria and do everything. I want. Okay, who do I want to leave my business for? Who do I want to leave my my um, what is it called? You know, my family and everything. Like he was just trying to convince. Like oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my gosh, it wasn't funny at all. Like I still stood my ground and told him that the deed has already been done. They have given me visa and also my admission letter is out already in the school and is actually waiting for me and i need to meet up you know stuff like that guys it wasn't really really easy to convince them i don't really know why i don't really know why they actually find it hard to you know let me go but i believe <laughs> i believe if i think if if i decide for myself without you know saying okay let me just go and meet my husband and all that i, I believe they would have convinced me to actually change my mind okay but since i'm going there to meet somebody that is my husband and i'm going there to actually school i don't think anybody can convince me again because okay what am i what am i even doing what am i doing there so um the nurse person was my siblings um my siblings was actually happy but then they were just consigned okay who is going to help you to do all this stuff like washing of your clothes washing plates um sweeping the house because i'm legit lazy and they really know like they were asking who is going to help you to do all this stuff who will you not be calling names so yeah go and do this one for me yeah i can't do that one for me yeah, i can't do this one for me they were really happy though they were really happy that one is not even you know their concern and all that it was just my parents that were the main the main the main issue so um for my friend um jennifer you guys know her around um i'm going to show you guys her you know you guys her handle so i actually told her a few days before i left and she was just shouting <laughs> she 
she was just shouting she was just shouting and yeah i don't really have much for that i depend on how we connect that is how i that is when i'm going to give you that friendship tag okay i don't i'm not the kind of person that okay when we just meet um or maybe we have conversation you know stuff like that i'll just call you a friend no and the other person is that um you know when i feel that connection of a friend you give to me i give to you you can be there for me and i will be there for you that is what friendship is actually called okay so i actually took her as a friend because she is a friend to me okay and she's there to me so i actually told her before i travel a few days before i travel and she was like shouting you know saying that you know she's going to miss me a lot stuff like that oh gosh i really miss her though um my husband from his own side he told his um father and also his mom as well and their reaction i don't really know what their reaction was but I can bet my father-in-law was legit very happy. He was really, really happy. He was just, you know, um, praising my husband, you know, stuff like that. He called me on phone. He was really happy. Out of excitement, he told me that, okay, that, um, you know, he had everything. I should stay well. I should do this. I should do that. He even prayed for me on phone and every other thing. Um, my, hus my husband's sister as well, the senior sister, actually was very happy like it was in a house i stayed you know when they want to give me visa I, I stayed in a house and she was really happy she gave me words of encouragement she told me what to do and what not to do you know stuff like that she was just giving me advice of what advice saying that she's very very happy for me and my husband as well so that's just it the rest people actually knew anybody that you know we had one or two conversation or maybe i don't feel anything like connection in our life um you know they just knew when i have posted my travel vlog that was when they actually knew okay um so that's just it i just wanted to show you guys my parents reaction especially my mom my mom is i don't know how to put it she's this kind of person that you know she's really really like we are really really close okay and um she feel like if i should leave that place that we are not going to be talking communicating you know giving her what i should give her that was what she actually felt <laughs> but then it has actually been going so smooth and so well so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below when you want to relocate how did your parent your parents actually react because for me my parents tried so hard to convince me not to go my mom was just playing pity card like I, I was just i was a little confused at some point i was like okay should i just stay with these people because i don't understand anymore it's as if i'm coming here to loss or so i'm just coming here to meet my husband so um it was not as if she even prayed that you know my children should be or to stay with her for some time because she was even telling me before they told us that we can't do papers for my children she was even telling me that okay i should leave my children she and my dad that we should leave our children for them and i'm like eh <laughs> i cannot try it but i didn't even know that you know they were going to um request for something that will make us you know keep them there with them thank you all so much for watching to this extent i will see you all later in my next one okay bye